Hello there, this is Critical from Critical Media, just taking a look at the 2022 20th anniversary edition of Batman Hush from Jeff Loeb, Jim Lee, and Scott Williams on the colors. And what we usually do at this channel is give you an idea of what to expect if you ever come across these books in the wild. So we go over the exteriors, some bonus material, art and plot points, and then a brief review at the end. But before jumping in, I do have to mention, I, like many others, did pre-order this book when it was first solicited, and so yes, you get a good price. However, when it was uh, solicited originally, it was solicited as a deluxe anniversary edition. About one month before this book released, I noticed that, yes, the cover got updated, but also the heading of it just switched to Anniversary Edition, sans the deluxe part. So, it did turn out to be true that they did downgrade the book to just a standard hardcover. So, yes, it is the same size as the standard. Here's the Deluxe Hush unwrapped, just to show you the difference there. Now, is it a big deal? I wouldn't say it's like the end of the world. But the reality is, I did order it mainly because I wanted a deluxe version of this book. So, full disclosure, I am planning to return it. And for its price, and for what it boasts, like that extra bonus story, it's still not worth the price tag. It, the book is priced exactly like a deluxe. So I did have to just mention that. I felt it was deserving. Now, at least in terms of the exterior, as I mentioned, this cover, it's relatively new. So excellent work and design but from Jim Lee. I definitely love the aesthetic, especially the whole puzzle piece aspect to Hush, even down to the question mark. In terms of the spine, yeah, I do appreciate the color choices they went with. Because, yeah, it just seems fitting, especially for the era of Batman at the time, his uniform and the colors. And, yes, we've seen this marquee before quite a few times, so the typical fare. Underneath the dust jacket, it is a gloss finish on the hardback itself. But a very interesting choice with these profile squares here. So definitely appreciate that, especially when it's Jim Lee, of course. And they did opt for a very similar spine design here. But at least you get new faces on the back here. New profiles. So definitely give them some points on that respect. Now in terms of bonus material. As mentioned, they did in fact add a bonus five page story. But I'll be honest with you. Uh, this story does nothing that we haven't already assumed. And also wasn't already mentioned in Hush Money. The follow up story if you were following the character Hush. So, in truth, again, not really worth the price of admission here. It's good, but not great. And I can't deny this page, it's actually blurry. I don't know if the camera will pick up on it, but the text is actually out of focus, and even the character profiles are out of focus. I, it's very rare for me to mention the negatives, but I can't deny there are negatives in this case. Um, but at least an excellent gallery of Jim Lee's work. I mean, often this was the main draw for folks, and at least the plotting of panels between, of course, Loeb and Lee. So definitely appreciate that much. Yeah, pretty on point. Now, at least in terms of art and plot points, um, for those of you not familiar with the story, it is in fact a mystery narrative. I know it's weird for me to say that regarding Batman, but you'd be surprised how many authors really just write Batman, but don't write an actual detective story, a mystery for him to really solve. Kind of fanfare stuff. But it really just boils down to this here. Someone was able to cut the bat line, which is not an easy task based on what Batman uses for materials. So the mystery kind of revolves around that, where someone was able to cut the bat line, attempt to kill Batman. And the whole book basically kind of serves as that overall narrative. But uh, one thing I definitely appreciate about Loeb, uh, he, yes, was the same man to do the whole long Halloween aspect with Tim Sale. Um, and a lot of that writing is very familiar here. And it's very well done. There's a lot of spot-on referencing to the same narrative of long Halloween and dark victory. Um, but definitely love the designs here, especially the redesign for Huntress here. Probably the most notable version of her that we've seen. Very on point in that respect. Um, and I like how each one pretty much gauges the character's philosophies. After all, this is coming on the, off the heels, sorry, of, of course, the whole No Man's Land story arc. And yeah, you're introduced to lifelong friends of Bruce, yes, Tommy Elliot, and even his burdening relationship with, 
of course, Catwoman. But I do like any time they do flashbacks, they use this watercolor aesthetic. Like when he was younger in Metropolis, they saw the original Alan Scott Green Lantern. Definitely appreciate that aspect. So I like how they decided to use those kind of motifs to kind of fill out the narrative here. I mean, the art is super strong. This is, in fact, one of, I'd say, Jim Lee's most noted, notable works here. Um, yeah, probably giving you that one of the few Superman, Batman spinoffs here. There's always a different outcome to them. Um, and that's another thing about this book. They did try to you make this version of it a bit more unique with the titling of chapters. So it is very fitting based on each book. Um, but overall, it is pretty strong in its, in its light. You're going to get a lot of iconic, kind of statuesque kind of looks here. Awesome artwork in that respect. For some reason, I've always remembered this kick so well, him beating up that door. Um, but... Yeah, some very, very on-point work from Jim Lee overall. Super impressed with the, the way this book ends up ending. Uh, no spoilers, even for those who've, of you who've maybe watched the animated film. The animated film didn't capture what really happened in the book. Um, even the little nod to Red Hood. Um, this was even before Under the Red Hood release, so there's a bit of a tie-in in that respect as well. Uh, it's an overall great story. I would definitely recommend it if you've never read it before and want a hardcover. But maybe wait for the price drop because, like I said, there's just no conceivable way why this book is priced the way it is. Um, ultimately, it's about your opinion at the end of the day. Um, but like I mentioned, um, this was kind of disappointing to find out that they kind of downsized it and also didn't alter the price to boot. So... In that respect, I, it's kind of hard for me to recommend this particular release. But the story, definitely a must for Batman fans. But anywho, it's not so much about my opinion at this point. Hopefully you've come across this book yourself and have your own opinions, which I wouldn't mind seeing in the comments down the, below nonetheless. Y'all folks, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.